so a lot's going on right now. I just barely started school and I wanted to still upload videos every other Thursday. So I'm making this a very easy video so I can still give you guys content. So um, there's no voiceover. This is gonna be basically live most of the time. So I have this Barbie doll. It's gonna be a very simple job. No outfit because I don't like sewing. So we're removing the face with 100% acetone and Q-tips. And I'm gonna keep the lips because bar most Barbies have this open tooth face smile thing and I find it really hard to paint that back on. So I'm using it because the lip color is nice. And this is a totally not planned at all doll. She has some glitter on her eyelashes, I mean eyelids, which is getting everywhere and it's annoying. But it's coming off pretty easy because it's very, very strong acetone. And I'm gonna keep this scalp hair color because it's gonna be covered by uh, hair anyway. This was a Rapunzel doll though, by a Mattel. It's a Disney Rapunzel Mattel doll thingy. I have lots of Rapunzel that I use. They're just common, I guess, because I love Rapunzel. She's my favorite Disney princess. And now I'm gonna move on to painting. This is my palette. It has this, oh, this is in the way. Nifty little lid thing that like seals the paints and makes them not dry up. And I just keep all my paints in this shoe box right here very helpful. Um, so when I do an acrylic face up, um, I haven't used Mr. Super Clear. I can't get Mr. Super Clear where I live. It's a toxic hazardous material and so um, I can't find somebody that will ship it here unfortunately. So I can't use it. So I ordered an alternate, an, alter, alter, an alternative and hopefully that will come soon. But for now, I'm doing acrylics only face-ups. So I'm not doing a certain project because I want them to have the face-ups that I want. So I start by doing the eye whites. I find Barbie faces hard to use because they are so indistinct with their molding. I can only see it if I tilt it a certain way. And I like to do kind of cartoony eyes. And it's I honestly have no idea how this doll's gonna turn out. It's just gonna be like, oh, okay, let's let's just make her eyes purple or something. Oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna make her eyes like this here. That's a purple. That sounds fun. And I'm just gonna find her an outfit in my clothing stock box that I think will fit her vibe. I'm gonna make her still cheery because you can't change that smile. I don't like working with Barbies. I only do it if they're a cheaper project and I usually sell them because they're not my favorites. But they're just kind of, I use them for creative exercises. The brand of paints I use, I try to find a Hobby Lobby under a dollar. And the brands I use are Folk Art and just one dollar paints that I can find. Let me check real quick. This is Deco Art. This is Delta Creative. More Deco Art. Here's a folk art. Um, I use this Nita's All Purpose one. Just colors that I can find that are kind of cheap. Oh, Apple Barrel. Those are the brands I use. I also have, I took an art class where they required us to have Grum, grum Bacher, Bacher. I don't know what that says. But I use those as well because I just have them. But they're a little thicker than I like, especially the white got all yucky, so I threw it away. And I do prefer to use the other ones that I have in my collection over the Grumbacher. But if I, but you know, they're still good colors and they're very creamy. Now I have a really neat trick for um, creating blush on dolls with acrylics. So I take, I'm gonna go cameo pink. And what you do is, so you have this, it's a lot. That's why this is great, because like they never dry out. Okay. And then you put it on the cheeks where you want it. And that looks way too much. Then you take your finger, you just kind of blend it in and rub it out. And it usually works. You kind of just have to like dab at it. 
so it goes away slightly. This is actually lightning skin, I used the wrong color. But then you get this subtle effect. This is the wrong color, I need to wipe it off. Um, I'm gonna use, I don't know what color I'm gonna use. The blush, I think I'm gonna use, <clears throat> I'm gonna mix a bit of red in with the pink to change the color. And let me know if you guys like this type of video where it's pretty much real time and me talking in real time the entire video. It's a little less organized, I know, because I kind of talk and do stuff at the same time. But let me know if you guys like it because I enjoy it. It's less work for me and you get to see the real time creative process, which might be interesting. That's very more vivid, but kind of matches her lip color more. So like I was saying, just kind of blend it out. And it's not really working here. You may have to get tissues. My art station is always a mess. Does anyone have this problem? I have like seven projects going on at once here because I'm, I'm waiting on supplies or, you know, lost inspiration. Now look, this is a pretty mega blush. I can shape it later with more acetone because as the acrylics dry, they get harder to mold though. Now I'm gonna mess up, see? I'm gonna get more and dab it on. Let my finger off because if you have acrylics on your finger and then you try and blend it, it doesn't work as well. So I kind of bring it all over because my blush at least goes all the way down there. Not everyone says. And I can shape it later with acetone as I mentioned before. And I'm kind of blend it out with the tissue. Kind of bring it up on top of the forehead. And I'm gonna shape it with some acetone. I wonder if I actually have any acetone remaining on this. Nope. So I pour some more out. It's only a slight amount there. I also pour it out into the lid because um, the lid is pretty resilient and it's like the perfect size. So I'm dabbing it off up here and it goes a little far down. So I'm just shaking it a bit. I'm gonna go right there. Be careful when using acetone on the doll's body because it can melt and I've done that quite a few times. And then it's quite noxious fumes and pain and stuff. Also, you can hear my family chatting in the background sometimes if I do a live cut like this. See, I just don't know if you guys enjoy this or not. Because if not, I guess I won't do them as much. <laughs> can you tell that this is just being really lazy? I'm, this is just a fun, lazy, chill project. Yeah, ain't that cute? Also, I do have the chance of like my family coming in and barging in my video and I will just keep it in the final cut because you know, I'm being lazy at this point. I'm gonna take the main acetone and always dump it back to the container because I don't want to waste acetone because um, it's kind of pricey, but not like cheap. Yeah, it's money. And you know, I'm poor, so. Do another layer of the eye whites because they were kind of blotchy. You need several layers of eye whites. Um, they're kind of pink. Pink on my brush. This is a really tiny uh, brush that I picked up at my local game shop. They um, they have really great brushes and varnish and stuff. And when I started doing Warhammer figurines, I got this really nice detail brush and bought one of their colors. You can use just Warhammer paints on your dolls, and they work really well. That's what um, Doll Motion uses. I bet they, it works really well. So I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm gonna decide on the hair color. Oh, <coughs> camera. Look down here. Bring it down. I have this huge, huge box. This is rings of yarn. Green, orange. I have this plastic yarn. It's kind of cold enough. Really fun to use for it. Now I don't want to do a rewriting hairstyle, and kind of don't know what I want to do. I want to have fun, so I will find an outfit first. Here is my clothing and accessory store. Some of them handmade, some of them are store bought. Just came with dolls. And you can't see what I'm doing. Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out camera angles. Look at oh. Next, next. Yeah. So, the trick is finding Barbie doses. Ooh, that's fun. I think I'm gonna use that. And I have to make sure that they always have Velcro in the back because I mostly use this to harvest Vel Velcro pieces for my project. Um, no, no. I used to have these organizing bags, and then I didn't. So let's see, this doll has high heels. This could work, but I want pants, I guess. That's cute. 
is my shoe bag. I'm gonna look at it later. Um, accessories. These match. I think it's kind of cool. Sure. Well, actually, what about this? Hmm. Let me know down in the comments which. Oh wait. Let me know down in the comments which outfit you would have chosen. But I think. I'm gonna go with the purple dress. I'm gonna go with the shoes out because I'm gonna find one of those. Now it's time to. Oh, I think this is a Dracula Lara dress. It's kind of cute. Oh, that's a track. Okay. Um. Move on to hair color. So I could do purple, but that'd be a lot. <coughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, but that'd be a lot of purple in her design. And I like painting her eyebrows brown. So I could go into that brown with this. Soft. Very soft. I like it a lot. Um. Or I could go with this one, but it's a little lighter. That's kind of interesting. Um, I'm, I'm going to do this brown because it's fun. And as I'm going to be really lazy with this, I'm not sure if I'm going to brush out the arm or not. I will decide, okay? I'm pausing you now. I decided on these shoes because it's kind of transparent and I did revive. I'm going to fix the paint job. I don't have any silver paint though, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I might paint them white. I guess. And I'll also define the laces because they're just molded in. But yeah, a uh, simple paint job for the shoes. So I'm going to just dress her up real quick. And see how she's looking so far. This is definitely a Barbie dress. Yay. I like that. She's great. I'm just going to see how the outfit looks together. So, I need, no, I need, so I know if I need to change something. I cannot speak in English. It takes me so many times to record the scripts. I also talk really fast and I can't figure out things to say. So... My scripts are just sometimes a lot of awkward pause here. Oh, Sasha. Mm. Um, yeah, that's cute. Looks a little weird with just soulless person here. And I'm not very fashion oriented, so I'm not sure if this is actually just an atrocity outfit. Actually, I think with these shoes, the other outfit was a better choice, so I'm going back to that. Okay, so, dug up the other outfit, and I'm just taking this old one off. These pants look really big, but, I mean, I hope they fit. Maybe they're Ken pants, but I don't think Ken would wear these necessarily. These pants feel weird. Um, a bit big, but the look, maybe? I'm not really into fashion, so I don't know. <laughs> Just like, tell me if I'm creating the greatest atrocity. Kind of feels like it sometimes. Maybe I should switch the top, but um, I'm keeping it there. Maybe I will dig through later. Find something else. Get in. I'm just so glad Monster High has removable hands. When I discovered Monster High and started customizing them, I was like, you are superior to Barbie. Can't believe that Barbie has survival easier than Monster High is already on a third reboot. It's like, Monster High's better though. Kind of like the top. Pants are a little loose. Maybe I have to fix that again. Later problem. So now on to the actual eye color. I'm going to go fun with this iridescent top coat acrylic. I never actually know what this looks like on its own. Oh, it's just literally an iridescent top coat. Maybe we can speak of area. I haven't checked that before. Maybe it'll be like... Yeah, okay, that's not working. Okay. Well. We'll do it metallic then. And I'm just feeling crazy color today. Yes, that looks pretty. Then maybe we'll do an iridescent top coat over it. So, eh. Kind of doing anime ish eyes. There will be more details later, I promise. It's not gonna be this just freaky scary thing forever. And my brother's practicing piano in the background, so that's what that noise is. Sorry about it. That's dry. I'm gonna give her um black eyeliner because I feel like it'll look really good. kind of evil to be honest. Can you 
see the anime influence, I hope you can. Um, I'm gonna like darken your brows because gradients look good. Just got the edges. Are these the tips or like the edges? I don't know terminology and um, maybe that's showing. I also feel like this way people can actually kind of know what I'm like more and how stuff is. Have just extreme trouble with the other eye, no matter what. Look kind of good, I guess. Um, maybe black hair would be better. I'm going with dark brown. Yeah, I'm, I already decided. Let's see, it looks like the eye could use another coat. Okay, um, I'm kind of feeling maybe black lipstick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing black lipstick. I don't need to change my entire design. You know, I'm gonna just change the pants later. Let's see, it still look good. Yes. Um, I'm gonna add that you're just a top coat now. It's still kind of wet, but it can work out. I'm blending the top coat with the purple. Wee! Ain't that pretty? Look at it. Shine. It'll look better when it's dry. I think. She looks kind of magical now, it's kind of cool. Then I'm taking this like red thing for the blush I mixed up earlier. I'm just creating tear ducts. I'm bringing the sense of realism, I think. I'm gonna take the lighter pink and kind of do her waterline. I feel like pink I use for a blush is a little too harsh for a waterline. But that looks pretty dang good. I think I'll do maybe a stylized flick of a lower lash. Just that looks pretty good. Ah, uh, lower one. Yeah, pretty even. Whatever. Um, so for hair, I gotta change these pants. They're bugging me. I probably really just put her in a super girl outfit. You know, there's yarn everywhere. Um, okay, I'm feeling distressed more. I, even with these shoes, it's like casual, but formal. I, I don't know. Like I said, I have no plan going to this, and it's supposed to be an easy project. Is it easy? Maybe. So, have you guys ever just been like, well, I have a dedication thing, but I kind of want to create right now. I'm not going to do that right now. I really want to create, but it's just the timeline. I really hate editing videos, so I'm hoping that this format will make it easier on myself. And, I don't know, maybe help me with other stuff, like actually dressing dolls, oh my gosh. So you might be seeing this format for a while or other kind of lazier video formats. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, I really like that. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really pretty, okay? You, you cannot convince me otherwise that this isn't pretty. Okay, I'm gonna just pause and do her hair, but I'll show you me attaching it. So, um, now I'm gonna be styling her, uh, putting it on her hair, and I'm gonna use Mod Podge and um, a very old brush that I don't care about. I'll be able to look at that. Um, so I have a light, isn't that good? I can't really move my light setup. Um, um, this is an Ever After High Stand. They have wider bases, so I feel like they work better. Um, let's see. So I lay some glue down. I would not recommend uh, pouring water over the, the doll's head afterwards because uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure Mod Podge comes off with water, so it wouldn't work. I want to get her really long hair. So I just stick the fibers on one at a time in the Mod Podge. And then, oh, she's looking so pretty. And this is just a project that I was like, hmm, I'm bored. Let's do it all. I love projects like that. Doll, do, uh, doll Light Bull has this thing called the stock box series but most of my channel is actually the stock box series i never really draw my characters that i create i mean i do sometimes but like i'm on a board and can't really access my dolls so then after i lay them all down kind of smooth them out i put another layer of mod podge on top of them in hoping that they will stick sometimes i will make actual hair wefts and then connect them with hot glue but since these are like individual hairs i need mod podge because 
Mod Podge is more slow drying and I don't know, I don't feel like getting out the hot glue gun because I only have two outlets available to me and then I can't use my camera and my light at the same time. So that's why the hot glue gun is pink. Well, and that's it all. I quite enjoyed making this project. It was nice and easy. Um, she does seem to be the life of the party and I'm really happy with the pictures. I took. They were quite fun to take. This doll was a very fun and easy project and I just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, they're gone. We can't have a dance party.